Hello my friends, I am doing something a little bit different here today. We're gonna be trying out, or this is gonna be my first outing here with a film camera. And I haven't shot anything more than like a uh, point and shoot. And so I decided like when I was doing my research and stuff, I, ha I had to pick a camera, obviously. So I was doing research over the last couple months and I happened to also around that same time see the movie Minamata, which if you haven't checked it out, it's a story about um, W. Eugene Smith, who went out and shot photos of people over in Japan in that area that were suffering from mercury poisoning. And that photographer, Eugene Smith, W. Eugene Smith, shot with one of these, the uh, Minolta SRT 101. But before that, everybody was referring me to, I guess, some of the staples like the Canon A1 or the Canon F1, some of the Nikon F series, and, and those sorts of things. And I was like, you know what? I really just. This one, the SRT 101 seemed the most simple, so yeah, so I want to document. I'm going to start taking my first shots. I'm going to be using my cell phone as the light meter. Maybe we'll invest in a better one later on. And I'm just going to shoot a roll of film or two here. I went with a Kodak um, Ultramax 400 to start with, uh, just because the reviews that I've seen and some cool videos, which I'll put down below anything that really helped me get started. Uh, maybe make a playlist or something like that. Uh, and then the other role that I have is the Fujifilm Xperia, which I just want to see how those two kind of behave. So I guess there's nothing left to do but try this out. All right, here we go. I just shot through the first uh, roll of film here, my first roll of film ever, which is a pretty cool feeling. It is, there's a lot to think about uh, just because it's new to me, but also because what you're seeing is not what you're getting and there's no instant feedback to make minute adjustments. And yeah, there, it's just a very different experience, especially having to check the light meter each time your scenario, your setting changes. So that was the Kodak Ultramax 400 and next up, I'm going to load a Fujifilm roll, uh, Superior, something or another. I'm still learning all of this stuff. Bear with me. But yeah, next roll. So I've never actually done this part, and I'm pretty nervous about it. Especially, well, I found this gazebo. That should be enough to shield from the, the actual sun. Hopefully nothing gets damaged here. So what I understand is to unlock it, we're going to do this. And we're going to lift. And then we're gonna spin. And then I feel a little resistance here. So after a little inspecting, there is a little button down here underneath. Um, I think that's what's allowed me to do this. And I do kind of hear um, on this side some sort of rotation. So that's that's super helpful. I wish I could see like a countdown. There is a counter here. It only goes up it seems and then starts over once you start over. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I hear a uh, click of some kind or something. There it was. Oh man, I don't know if that got picked up because it is super windy today. Alright, so if all went well, I should open this up and I'll try to open... Ooh, I heard a weird sound doing that. Okay. I was confident like just two seconds ago. I ended up just having to move. I realized there's like zero clouds in the sky right now, which means it's not going to be a very exciting golden hour, but what, what can you do? So here we go. I'm going to pop this open and hope for a roll of film. You will feel the disappointment along with me. You'll see it live in my face. Oh, so I saw like the little leave part, this part that doesn't go in all the way. And I thought that it was still unspooled, but no, thankfully, thankfully, whoo, <laughs> the relief, the emotions when I just, yeah, wow, okay, is this how you guys feel? I need to get some confidence on this, oh my god. All right, one roll, first roll shot, all right. <laughs>
of yourself, not the most fun thing. I didn't want to bother with a tripod, otherwise that would have taken way more time than it was necessary, and I wanted to focus on the, on the film, but I also wanted to document it. Next time I need to bring a friend, I think. But um, because Golden Hour is approaching, and I wanted to kind of hurry up on this because, you know, you got not too much time. Uh, this park is actually the one where I built up my stamina while I was recovering from open heart surgery about two years ago from the time I'm making this. And I know the perfect spot because I used to come here and walk around and I would take photos. That was kind of part of my therapy is walking around, take photos and kind of just be in the moment, stop worrying about the future and all that stuff. And uh, we're going to head over that way and we're going to finish off this second roll. So yeah, not only is it a good spot for uh, Golden Hour here, but it's also a pretty good uh, Pokemon Go stop for all of the things. I, oh man, during the surgery, that really kept me going. Uh, it's not too far removed from the two years. That's why I kind of have it on my mind. But also, the fun thing and the weird thing, because I've never vlogged out like in the wild before like this, is that this is like just encircled by a road that gets very busy with rush hour. So I've had an audience for the whole time and some people have yelled out stuff while I've been walking by, which is the most bizarre thing. It's always funny when people see me shooting in a particular spot and they note, you know, the camera, hear cameras, and then they see where I was shooting. So take, I take that as a compliment. I don't know about you guys, but it's always fun to kind of observe that sort of behavior. All right, so anyway, that is it. It's over. Went through the two rolls that I intended to. I don't want to do too many other ones before I get some feedback on it, which you'll have seen before, way before I do. So it actually ripped. So I probably exposed like half of it. It pulled out of the canister, unfortunately. Oh boy. All right. Well, there's some feedback that I wasn't expecting. Development is the next step. The bugs are already coming out and trying to eat me. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.